The next thing is actually creating transactions. The easiest way to create a transaction with the new client is actually using the create transaction function. Kind of makes sense. So we'll create a transaction. I'll call it TX and I'll call the create, if I could type, create transaction. So we're going to call create transaction from the Gil SDK. And this takes in an object that wants all of these values, basically. So there's, uh, notice how there's a question mark here. These are optional values that can be included within your transaction. Ultimately, these are highly recommended to be included. Latest block hash is ultimately required when you send your transaction. But let's go ahead and fill in this information. So the fee payer for this transaction is going to be my signer address. I'm going to pass in some instructions. We haven't created those yet, so I'm just going to give this an empty array. Next up is I'm going to give it a version. I'm not doing any address lookup tables here, so we're going to go ahead and make this a legacy transaction. I'll go ahead and reorder those. And now we have a valid transaction that we can continue processing, continue doing things on within our code, and ultimately send it to the blockchain. 